Recently, we took a look at the Mini Soccer and the Mini Activity Kit from Spiro. These fun, programmable robots are an easy way to get a foot in the door to coding. So when Sphero reached out about taking a look at the larger, more capable, and expandable robot, the Rover, we were excited to take it for a spin. Let's check it out! Thanks for watching 9to5toys! Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. First and foremost, this highly customizable robot comes in at $250, which is quite a bit more than the Sphero Minis that we reviewed earlier. The Mini line starts at $50 and is a great way to get started with programming. But what you get with the Rover is a platform that can build out pretty much whatever you want. Sphero sent over a pre-built attachment with the Rover to get an idea of what is possible when you build on the developer plate. Getting the Rover out of the box, I was very impressed with the packaging and unboxing experience. Everything felt well designed and intuitive, and once you get the rover out of the box, you have everything needed to get going. And the quick start process is very simple. Charge up the battery and once it's full, use the included key to unlock the battery compartment and insert the battery. Lock it back up, push the power button on the other side of the rover, and then download the Sphero EDU app and connect it to the rover. Once connected to a device via the Sphero EDU app, the rover is ready to go. And the first thing I did was hit the drive tab to control the rover and proceeded to drive it directly off my table. The good news is that it seems pretty rugged. I then realized that just like the Sphero Minis, you need to calibrate it to your orientation first, and then it's easier to tell which direction the rover will move. After that, controlling the rover was easy and it's impressively quick and responsive. It changes direction rapidly and the maximum speed can be adjusted to make getting a hang of driving even easier. With its quick, torquey motors and rubber tracks, the rover appears to be able to handle most terrain. To aid in its programmable and expandable nature, built into the rover are a nice assortment of onboard sensors. It features a USB port, a UART port, ambient light sensor, color sensor, and infrared sensor. And then within the Sphero EDU app is where the magic starts to show itself. You can create programs through a variety of methods, by drawing, using code blocks, or writing your own script. I'm not a coder, but using the block system is very easy to put together. There are a ton of available blocks in here to play with. So let's go through a simple block script setup. We want the rover to drive forward, and when it senses a color, to change the LED lights to that color. We're also going to make it turn left on a couple of color squares to run a course around the desk, and then stop when it reaches the red square. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to create a new program. I'm just going to call this Color Path 2. So then here on the start, we want the rover to start moving. So we'll add a speed block, and I'll set it to about 34. So that means when it starts up, it's just gonna start moving forward at a speed of 34. Then we want to add an event. It says on color. So when it senses the color, any actions underneath that will take place. We'll start with yellow here, and set the color. So we're gonna go over to the light section, and find the main LED, change it to a yellow. So when it senses that yellow square, it's gonna change the main LED lights to yellow. Then we'll pull up another on color block and change it to blue. We'll set the main LEDs to turn to blue as well. And now what we're gonna add is a heading node. So this means that when it senses that color, it's gonna change its heading to 270 degrees which in this case would be a 90 degree turn left. So another cool thing you can do is copy and paste nodes in here. So we'll just copy this block and then to paste it, you need to hold it back down on that same block and then you can paste and drag it around. So we'll set this color and this is the same function as the last square that we did. We'll change the heading to 180 so it makes another 90 degree turn left and set the LED color then we'll paste another block and set up the purple color. And we'll remove the heading block. And then finally we'll set up the red block. So we'll set the red color. And we'll remove the heading block and put in there stop so that when it senses the red color, it will stop moving. And we'll set it to strobe red as well. All right, so there we have our script all set up. 
Let's get the rover back in position. Make sure all of our squares are lined up, and then you just hit start. Alright, so as you can see there, it went through and turned left on the two squares we told it to, and then stopped on the red, and changed LED colors throughout. And then in the app, it'll give you all this different data that you can scroll through. So it's a very fun, easy way to get started with coding. So from its core, one of the main goals of Sphero is to make an easy to use programmable robot for educational purposes. Just like the Sphero Mini, there are packages available for educators that make it easier and more affordable to get multiple units for a classroom. With an easy to use coding system that can be built out to whatever you want, the rover looks like it would be a fun way to learn coding in a classroom setting. Overall, the Sphero rover is a rugged, easy to use, but extremely robust programmable platform. It can move quickly, hold a ton of pieces, and with its expandability via the developer plate, it will make a great platform for learning how to code and expanding creativity. So what do you think of the Sphero rover? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.